everyone, and welcome to another episode of Newscast. My name is Sam Healy, and in these videos, we'll tell you all of the latest news about our projects, as well as the company. As always, if you don't want to watch the entire video, you can skip to the parts that interest you by utilizing the timestamps in the description below. For general news today, just to give you a heads up for next week, Leo will be doing a live playthrough of Anastir on Wednesday, May 25th, with the Jade Sea boss. So you'll be able to see how gameplay works in a boss scenario. More details to come next week. I'll be back to normal this week with a Mythic Plays live stream with my wife on Thursday at 10 a.m. Pacific Time and a live Q&A on Friday at 10 a.m. Pacific Time as well. So be on the lookout for those. Now we have a bit more information on a few of our projects, so let's get to them. For Darkest Dungeon today, we have some good news for all of you who answered the letter and have come to restore the Hamlet to its former glory. First off, the German version of Wave 1 is now in the layout stage, and the French version of Wave 1 has also finished the translation proofreading phase and entered the layout stage as well. The Italian version of Wave 1 will finish the translation proofreading this week and will then also enter the layout stage too. Wave 2 of the English version has been proofread and is being prepared to enter the translation stage. We're also very close to completing an online demo of the core box gameplay for Tabletop Simulator and Tabletopia that we're hoping to be able to make available to the public next month. So, we have a lot of forward progress happening, and to further that point, here's a short assembly line video from the factory. Enjoy. <music> For Six Siege today, we have some great news for all you operators out there. Our production manager has received images of various game components from the factory, and we're super excited to validate and approve them to make sure everything's as it should be so we can share them with you. So keep an eye out for those in the next couple of weeks. We're also waiting on the box white samples from the factory, which will indicate their final sizes too, so we'll share that information with you as soon as we're able. And finally, the other language versions, apart from the English and French, are in the layout stage of development. So the proverbial ball is rolling for them too. As we hope to show here, progress is definitely being made. It might be less tangible in the form of pictures and deadlines, but rest assured that we are indeed on track and solidly heading in the proper direction. For Rise of the Necromancers today, we're proud to announce that the French localization is now complete for the entire game. We just need to cross-check all the files multiple times to ensure that nothing is wrong. But we're done with the biggest part of the task. The next step will be delving back into conversations with the factory as usual, and we'll endeavor to keep you up to speed with any new developments. We also wanted to share a few words about the lore book, because we realized we really haven't said much about it. This lore book is going to be huge, as it contains no less than 40 pages of text. It includes a short story for each and every necromancer in the game, including the ones in the expansions, as well as a few more stories about the general lore of the game and some rather dramatic situations. You'll be able to discover details about the world aplenty, from apprentices to cameos from monsters, including references to what the necromancers do in the game, even. It's going to be a gloriously evil publication, to say the least. And we can't wait to get it out to you. Well met, companions. For Anastir today, we wanted to let you know that we've modified the tabletop simulator module to include setup so that you and your friends can dive right into gameplay. More information will be included in tomorrow's What's Up Wednesday update on the Kickstarter page that will provide guidance on how you can utilize the module. 
We're also currently estimating that we'll be opening the Pledge Manager and Late Pledge in early June, and that will be on GameFound. So we're looking forward to seeing you there so that we can get everything we've prepared for the game in front of your eyes. It's been a long journey, but we have just a bit more to go before we can truly vanquish Volcar from our land. Now remember that Leo will be live tomorrow at 6 p.m. GMT, 1 p.m. Eastern Time on our YouTube channel with a live Q&A in English and at 8.30 p.m. Paris Time with a live Q&A in French. So tune in if you have any questions or you just want to see what wonders he might be able to show because you just never know what Leo might have up his sleeves. As mentioned earlier, make sure to mark your calendars next week on the 25th for Leo's live stream of the Jade Sea Boss scenario of Anastir. And be on the lookout this week for my videos on Thursday and Friday at 10 a.m. Pacific Time. That's it for today, though. Once again, stay safe and play some games while you're at it. We'll see you guys and gals on the flip side. Take care.